A former Fort Carson soldier receives the military's highest honor. Now, today, President Obama awarded retired Army Captain Florent Groberg the Medal of Honor. Groberg is credited for saving lives in Afghanistan in August of 2012. He was leading a security detail, escorting brigade commanders and an Afghan general when he noticed a suspicious man walking backward. A bomb was under that man's clothes. Groberg and another soldier pushed the man away and to the ground where the bomb detonated. The action caused another suicide bomber's weapon to detonate prematurely. Groberg's leg was severely injured and four of his fellow soldiers died, though more would have been killed. During today's ceremony, Groberg gave credit to his fallen comrades. This medal belongs to the true heroes, Command Sergeant Major Griffin, Major Gray, Major Kennedy, and Reggie Abdel Fattah, who made the ultimate sacrifice. Groberg says he will try to be a better American for the rest of his life because of those four men. Well, Captain Groberg joins a distinguished group of men who went above and beyond to save lives and protect our country. And that group has an important connection to Pueblo. KRDO News Channel 13's Greg Miller is live at the convention center in Greg Pueblo's home to a massive tribute to war heroes. You know, James, uh, Pueblo is obviously a very patriotic town. It's the home of heroes. You see statues like this one at the convention center behind me honoring troops. The flags are waving. And it's also home to a massive tribute to heroes, and it's including one that's growing and getting some national attention. Uh, it's an honor to be here. Even when he receives the Medal of Honor, Army Captain Florent Groberg insists the attention shouldn't be about him. I hope is going to happen is that I represent the four guys that were killed and their families uh, to the best of my ability. Multiply that humility, that bravery, by 3,496, the total number of Medal of Honor recipients in American history. Eventually, a portrait will be completed of Captain Groberg, and it will be on display here at the Center for American Values in Pueblo. This is the only center where portraits of Medal of Honor recipients are open for the public to see. I was proud. Uh, you know, to know yet another person with a Colorado connection received the Medal of Honor. Matt Albright is with the Center for American Values. He says more than 150 Medal of Honor recipients have been photographed since 1999. And since 2010, their portraits have been on display here. It's definitely humbling when you see these guys on the wall. I mean, you realize each one of them did so much, you know, and it was selfless. Selflessness and bravery honored in a room full of heroes. Now, Pueblo is going to get some national attention again coming up on September 11th of 2017. That's when the Medal of Honor convention will come here, and those, and those recipients will all come together. They'll share stories and really kind of share in that bond that they have together. So some big attention coming to Pueblo. We're live here tonight. Greg Miller, KRDO News Channel 13. All right. Thanks so much, Greg. And if you've watched our reports, you know Captain Groberg, one of three Fort Carson soldiers to recently receive the Medal of Honor. Back in 2013, Staff Sergeant Clinton Romache was awarded the Medal for defending an American outpost in Afghanistan, defending it from Taliban fighters. That was back in 2009. Staff Sergeant Ty Carter also received the medal for his actions in that same battle, which is now known as the Battle of Kamdesh. The officers involved in the Halloween shooting rampage in Colorado Springs are back.